Now, I need to warn you. This fridge is bad. Okay? Just be prepared. Oh my God, the humanity! How is my fridge? How is the fridge? All right, let's go on a oh, fridge tour. Oh, we're gonna go on a fridge tour. <laughs> let's go on a fridge tour. All right, I think it's important too for us to not let the media piss against each other. We're not about that. I don't want to be about that. He doesn't want to be about that. Recently, Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her new man, Ken Urker, were live on TikTok where they mocked Ryan Anderson's fridge tour video. Now, this is especially interesting because Gypsy Rose Blanchard is now claiming that Ryan's fridge and food hoarding had nothing to do with why she and Ryan separated. Um, it wasn't um, anything like what the headlines are saying about a fridge and food that has absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, that was so overblown. It's a bunch of things that all compiled together that I came to that decision. However, we know that Gypsy is the one that introduced this idea to the media, specifically TMZ. Gypsy also stated in a new interview that she and Ryan are not going to allow the media to pit them against each other. Right now, we, we have chosen to not communicate anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I think it's probably best for our healing at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're going to be going through the divorce and wishing each other the best. I think it's important too, for us to not let the media piss against each other. We're not Mm -hmm. about that. I don't want to be about that. He doesn't want to be about that. And so realizing that, Hey, this didn't work out. Okay. We're going to go our separate ways. Hopefully, you know, I know the hurt is there, but hopefully we can move on from that and, and think of each other fondly going in the future. So the audacity to get on a live stream with your new boyfriend and mock your still husband about something that you put out in the media in the first place is absolutely wild. So first, let's take a look at Ryan's video. So Ryan posted this video on May 27th. Here it is. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan, rocking Alex Bregman jersey today. Uh, Go Astros, Uh, LSU boy. But anyway, I've got a lot of comments. Show us your fridge. Show us your fridge for obvious reasons. Uh, But anyway, I don't even know what a food order is, guys. That's ridiculous. I mean, I don't have food hiding under beds or anything like that. Um, I do have a gastric sleeve. So that means the doctor removed 30% of my stomach. So when I go out to eat, I can't eat a lot. So I do get to go plates. So that might've drove Gypsy crazy, but uh, just is what it is, guys. I don't like wasting things and I just can't eat a lot. But anyway, here we go. Now I need to warn you, this fridge is bad. Okay, just be prepared. Oh my God, the humanity, there's stuff everywhere. Oh God, what am I going to do? Look, Pixie, (laughs) in the refrigerator, licking barbecue sauce. That's crazy. Pixie, get out of there. Anyway, guys, look, you notice there's some Tupperwares. Nothing in there is over a week old. Uh, There is a sandwich right there. Uh, there's birthday cake for my stepbrother's birthday yesterday. And then there's a salad in the background. Nothing crazy, guys. There's my Dr. Pepper. In the drawers, there's drinks, things like that. Freezer, look, I got some uh, frozen stuff, some ice cream. Uh, look, breakfast, I got biscuits, breakfast hot pockets. Guys, nothing crazy. I mean, come on, what's a food order? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, I just wanted to say, guys, there you go. There's a... Uh, view of my fridge i hope it wasn't too crazy and stuff everywhere i'm sorry for the the mess <laughs> anyway guys happy memorial day bye now that video has 5.8 million views and a lot of the comments as you can tell are in support of ryan and basically stating that gypsy made it seem like ryan was just hoarding tons and tons of food and we're gonna revisit exactly what was put out there in the media about ryan's quote food hoarding but first we're gonna take a look at a clip from the live stream that gypsy and ken did together courtesy of hello star Starlight. <laughs> How is my How fridge? How is the fridge? All right, let's go on oh, a fridge we're tour. We're going to go on a fridge let's tour. Let's go on a fridge tour. All right, we're going to no, we're not going on a fridge tour. No. I'm going to give it. Come on, guys. All right. Let's do a fridge tour. All right, we're going to go do a fridge tour. <laughs> All right. We're not doing a fridge tour. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> 
Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're in the... Okay, still learning this place. Alright. Alright, so this is what we got for the fridge. Alright, yes, it's very neatly organized, so I've got some healthy choice... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what... Chicken breast. Very nice and organized. My favorite ice cream is Ben Jerry chocolate chip. All right, we're gonna come over here. I go underneath over here. There's no fridge light. <laughs> I know. I like English muffins. Yeah, so we have a pretty nice, clean looking fridge. <laughs> like, despite what everybody thinks, I didn't get mad at Ryan. I We didn't have an argument about this stupid fridge. Now, I believe this live stream happened at Ken's apartment because as we know, he lived in a different state from Gypsy, but recently relocated to be closer to her. And at the end, Gypsy claimed that unlike what the media said, Gypsy and Ryan didn't have a fight over a fridge. But that's exactly what a quote source told TMZ. When Ryan and Gypsy's separation became public knowledge, there was article after article after article that was being pushed out by the media as to why Gypsy and Ryan separated. And most of that was coming from Gypsy's side. But one media outlet in particular, TMZ, was heavily covering Gypsy's divorce. And I think it's pretty clear to everyone at this point that Gypsy works with TMZ. And if you're still in denial and you don't believe me, Gypsy follows a TMZ reporter on TikTok, and that is Charlie Neff. If you go to both of their following lists, you will be able to see this for yourself. Charlie Neff also posted a video when Gypsy was in LA where they went out to eat together. Now, we're going to take a look at the first of two articles that TMZ put out regarding Ryan Anderson's food hoarding and what TMZ has to say. Hey guys, it's Charlie Neff from TMZ. So we know that Gypsy Rose and her estranged husband Ryan are divorcing. They had a ton of fights during the time that they were together, but now we've learned a little bit more about their arguments. And I was told that one of them was about his alleged food hoarding. So when Gypsy was released from prison, she moved in with Ryan into his two bed, two bath apartment. And she quickly learned some of Ryan's quirks. And one of them was that he loved to stock the fridge full of food. And if you remember, Gypsy's mom was kind of a hoarder and Gypsy gets really triggered if there's like a hoarding situation going on. So it really stressed her out. So I was told that one day Gypsy had enough with all of this food that was in the fridge. And when Ryan left for the day, she went into the fridge and completely cleared it out. She threw everything into the trash and just wanted it to be gone. But when Ryan came home and saw that the fridge was empty and none of his food was there, he was pretty upset about it. So there's other things that they were experiencing living together for the first time. And one of them I was told is that Ryan is a big snorer and Gypsy could not get any sleep at all. So I was told that she would actually go into the other room to sleep because she was trying to escape Ryan's snoring. Um, and also, I guess he's just really hot in the night and would be sweating. And Gypsy was like, oh, no, I need to be cooler. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't so great. But these are kind of things that you work out and, and experience when you're living with somebody for the first time. Overall, the couple had fights about numerous things, which Gypsy ended up filing for divorce about a week ago. And if you're curious about what exactly was in Ryan's fridge that Gypsy threw out, I know exactly what was in there and I'm going to reveal it tomorrow. So please subscribe. So that's what TMZ put out at first. And did you notice her verbiage in her video? I have learned, I was told, I know exactly what was in Ryan Anderson's fridge and I'm going to reveal it tomorrow. Now that is what brings us to our second article that TMZ put out about Ryan's food hoarding. So here's my video on it. To go boxes and leftovers, main culprit in Ryan Anderson's food hoarding. Gypsy Rose Blanchard threw away more than a couple of items in Ryan Anderson's fridge. She was chucking entire cartons of food, new and old, TMZ has learned. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ 
easy. Gypsy and her estranged hubby would dine out a lot during their marriage, but Ryan rarely ate all of his grub at the restaurants they would go to, choosing to take much of it home instead. We're told him constantly bringing home doggy bags and to-go boxes of chow came to a head at one point before they split, resulting in their fridge getting packed with a ton of containers, which we're told really started to pile up. Our sources also tell us the couple also had been filming season two of Gypsy's new show where they would get meals provided by production. So those meals would also get boxed up and added to the fridge. Safe to say, this got on Gypsy's nerves after a while. We're told Gypsy started to feel triggered and stressed out about all the food hoarding. As our sources say, it deeply reminded her of her late mother, Dee Dee Blanchard's issues. In order to cope with the stress, we're told that Gypsy decided to clear out the fridge one day, which blew up into drama with her ex. Since GRB didn't know what was old or new as nothing was labeled, we're told she just ended up throwing out damn near everything. Ryan accused Gypsy of throwing away food he was planning to eat and take to work, per our sources, and as we previously reported, this escalated into a very heated argument. So I just find it really interesting that Gypsy Rose Blanchard is only saying now that the food hoarding was blown completely out of proportion because Ryan Anderson made a video about it. Because after all, Ryan Anderson was basically just defending himself. So the audacity for Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ken Erker to be mocking Ryan on a live stream for something Gypsy put out in the media in the first place is absolutely hysterical and cringe. She said previously that she wanted her divorce to play out publicly and was pushing tons of articles out about why she left Ryan slandering him all over the media. Because as we know, this isn't the only reason that she gave as to why she and Ryan were divorcing. She stated that Ryan was guilt tripping her and they were arguing all the time, that Ryan was jealous over her wanting to spend time with her father, Rod, and that she was scared Ryan was going to hit her. But once Ryan starts speaking out and posting videos of his own, she wants them to be amicable and not let the media come between them. So basically, she wants her divorce to play out publicly only if it serves her purpose and makes her look better. And so far, as of right now, Ryan Anderson has been pretty respectful with what he has to say about Gypsy and their divorce. I think that Ryan was still holding holding on to hope that Gypsy was going to come back to him. But now that it's been put out there that she is allegedly pregnant, maybe he'll see the light and come to his senses. As far as Gypsy's pregnancy goes, this has been confirmed by two separate creators that have relationships with someone very close to Gypsy. So what happens from here, only time will tell.